Hey everyone, I don't look the best today, but I'm getting ready to make a blanket, a, a flannel or fleece tie blanket. I have made several of these, um, and I, I do. I mean, I've got, I've made several of these over the last several years, um, and I continue to make them. Now, my mom has a reunion that she's going to this weekend, and she has asked me to make her one because they're going to raffle it off. So, um, I figured I would do a video to show you guys um, how how you make one. It's really, really easy, okay? Um, hang on and I'll show you one that I've done that's finished. Okay guys, here's a couple that I made several years ago. Um, it What it is, it's got a back piece of uh, fleece fabric. You do a solid color on the back, a print it on the front, and it's just tied together. Um, here's the other one I did. I made these for my fiance's mother and father. This one's got brown on the back. Um, what you do, hang on. Um, I go to the fabric store. You get, um, when I started making these, I, I got two yards. You get two yards of a solid color, two yards of a printed color for the top. But I have been doing two and a half yards because I've noticed that when you get just two yards, by the time you cut it down and cut the um, the little um, slits in it, it makes the blanket too small. So it's best to get two and a half yards of each fabric, of the solid, and then of your print. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here and show you guys exactly how it's done. All right, guys, this is the one I'm making. This is my print. This is my solid color for the back. Now here's what I want to show you. I always, to know what side to put this down, this has kind of a lip here, okay? This will be the top of the blanket. So I'm gonna take this and open it up. And hang on, let me put this on the stand. All right guys, you have to have a big enough surface to lay the, the material out. Um, you need like I always do mine on my bed and like I said the solid color goes down first to know what side when they this fabric has a lip here so this side's going to be down okay so I've got this down okay guys your printed fabric goes on top of course so we've got the solid on bottom printed on top you're going to notice that it's uneven. So here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and trim. Trim this black to where it's even with the printed fabric. This will have to be all the way around. Um, and I'm going to show you on this side over here. They actually gave me on the printed fabric. I don't want this in my blanket. So, I have scooted the fabric over to where when I go to trim, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up cutting this print part off, okay? So, let me show you exactly how I trim this, which I'm going to have to scoot this over because this is still not, it's not quite a big enough surface. But, um, just a second and I'll show you how I trim guys, since I don't have a big enough space on the bed here, I have folded this over and then folded it over here to where I can see exactly where I need to trim, okay? And I've got some really, really good fabric scissors. So, we are going to go on and just start right here and start cutting. And do this all the way up. Sorry guys, I am trying to do this in video at the same time, and it's not easy, okay? But let's take and, um, I'm going to stop this because I've got to trim this all the way up. I'll be back. Okay guys, the side's done. You guys can see now that I'm even here. Um, I got to go, sorry guys, the top 
doesn't have much excess over just this little piece so I'm going to trim this okay I've trimmed all the way around so we're even now if the edges aren't perfect don't worry about that because this is going to be cut in slits and you're going to tie it anyways um, but this part down here that I'm telling you about I want this print stuff cut off so now I'm going to go in and trim this off all the way up okay guys here's the excess I've trimmed that's why I'm saying you almost need two and a half yards because by the time you lay the fabric out and, and match it up on all ends you're going to end up having to cut some off and if you don't get two and a half yards the blanket to me is too small now at the top here I didn't do much trimming so I turn I'm going to turn this over and check and if you'll notice sorry there's some excess here so now I got to go from behind here and trim this off All right, guys you get a ruler I've got a ruler out we're gonna take and we're gonna do four inch squares on it on each corner of the fabric okay All right, guys for the first corner I just took a, a sharpie we go four inches across and I marked a line and then come at this line and we go four inches up okay now we're gonna cut this square out I didn't show you how to how I did this but I just started at my mark here and went up to the line went up to this line and then go over okay and you have your square now here's what I'm going to do to make it easier I'm going to come down to the other corner sorry lay this here and then trim around this and I'll do this on all four corners okay guys the corners are all cut you see I've got four four by four here a four by four here if you come over here sorry I don't have much room we got a four by four here and up here is a four by four corner okay now we're going to start the next process and I'll tell you what I do if I'm going to make more than one blanket I'll save my little squares that way I can use this to measure um, on the other blankets and I don't have to get the ruler out all right guys next step sorry is to start cutting your uh, start cutting your little slits I'm going to start down here. I'm going to try to show you how I'm doing this. Um, I do mine kind of narrow. But you cut up to your line here. Okay? You, you got to do this all the way down the blanket on all sides. All sides. So let me stop. Let me stop this. I'm gonna stop the, the camera. Go ahead and do this down, down all the way down the blanket. And then I'm gonna show you how to tie, okay? Cause I, I do, I tie it twice, just so um, if the blanket gets washed, it doesn't come undone. And that's the thing about washing these things. I would tell whoever you're giving this to, if they're gonna wash it, to wash it on a gentle cycle and I, I wouldn't wash them very often. Um, I, a lot of times I'll sp spray like Febreze on mine um, if I need to freshen it up. We don't use these a lot. We use these if we're sitting in the chairs um, in the winter time and need something extra to cover up with. But let me go down and cut my strips and I'll come back on and show you how I tie. All right guys, I'm cut all the way down if you can see this. Oh, shoot, I've got the fan going, sorry. Let me show you. Now this has to be done on all four sides, okay? But start with the one side. Go all the way up with your slits. Uh, you can do them as big or small as you want, okay? 
but now we start the tie-in process okay let me put my phone on a stand so I can show you exactly how um, you tie them hang on all right guys I'm gonna try to show you I don't have the best uh, angle here okay but to start tying these you've got your top and your back piece here okay I take and do bottom over top first just tie that now I take and do top over bottom and you have a uh, you have a tie okay I'll show you again you take the solid color over the top tie now you take the print it and go over the bottom and tie okay now that goes all the way down you do that all the way down I'll do one more or I'll do a couple more and show you bottom over top top over bottom done bottom over top top over bottom okay let me show you what this looks like um, let me show you what it looks like here hang on guys okay that's what it looks like all right now I'm gonna go and do this all the way down all the way up this side and then I'll show you I'll show you what it looks like once we're done this is kind of one that has to be done in a quick fashion like I said because it has to be done by uh, Friday and I have to work so all right guys I'm tied all the way up on the one side now here's one thing I'm gonna tell you I've got OCD really really bad so if I see this lines not straight that drives me nuts also on the ends of these I don't like the way this looks this is like the end of the fabric so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go down and trim all of these to where they're even you see how this is not even and this has kind of a the ending of the fabric I'm gonna go down and cut all of these off one by one okay to make it a little more um, make it look a little better okay guys we're done on this side you guys can see I've gone in and trimmed all these to where the edges look a little better so now I'm gonna flip the blanket and do the other side okay here we start on the other side now we start cutting strips just like we did on the other side okay now cut this one I'm really gonna have to trim the edges down here because over on this side is where this print part is I didn't get all that trimmed off so what I'll do once I've gone through and cut and tied this whole side I'll go and trim all the edges off just like I did on that other side so I'm going in I'm cutting my strips you know you cut just to the top from the bottom to the top of your square here if you can see yeah just cut your strips starting from the bottom and you go up to the top of your square that's how long you know how to make them um, it's hard for me to do this and hold the phone but I'm gonna go through and just try to show you how to do one of them just go up to the top here okay so now I'm gonna go down and do this all the way down all right guys we're tied all the way up on this side now I'm gonna show you again how how I tie one of these and then of course once I get it tied I'm gonna go through and trim all all the way up to get this white uh, print stuff off here we go guys like I said you take the solid color that goes on top and then your print goes on top okay well that didn't sound good and I've kind of gotten this out of line you got to make sure your your um, you have to make sure your ties are lined up here um, 
once you go down to start tying these. I don't, hang on guys, I don't know how this has gotten out of whack, but um, I'm off. Looks like I'm off one. But you take the solid color, tie it on top first, then you take the print and put on top and tie, okay? Solid color first on the bottom, goes over and ties, print, over and tie. I'm gonna do this all the way down now. All right guys, this side, whole side is tied. Like I said, I don't like these white, the white part being on there. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna trim all these off. Um, let me get my scissors and show you exactly what I'm gonna do here. I just take and put these together. It's hard to do it holding the camera, but just go down and trim all these off, okay? I'll be back and show you the finished product. All right, everybody, see it looks a lot better now. I've gone through and trimmed that white off. So now we're done with this side. And we're done with this side. Now we just have to do the two. I've got to go through and do the two top sides. So, but that is how you make a tie blanket. All right, guys, I've got two sides to finish and I want to show you something. Now that I've got the two main sides folded, this side is going to be uneven. I'm going to have to go through and trim this off here to make that even. I'll do that. And then you notice when I flip it over, I've got this excess here. So I'm going to trim that off. Okay, so we know we got these two sides tied. I've gone in and done my trimming on this side. And we've cut our strips. So now we go in and tie this just like we did the other sides. Okay? Alright guys, we're done with three sides here. I've gone through and trimmed the bottom of this too. That way it looks a little better. So, we're almost done. We've got one more side to do. Ooh, I just, okay. Hey guys, blanket's done. Blanket's done, blanket's done, blanket's done. So, I'm going to spray some Febreze on it. I like to just, and then I'll fold it up and put it in a bag so it doesn't get any cat hair on it. So, anybody have any, any questions, comments, leave them in the comments. All right, guys, that's how you make a uh, tie blanket, a fleece tie blanket. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. See you guys later.